between death threats and like really nasty messages on a weekly basis, I probably get like between one to two dozen. And then if there's like a, a flare up or like the media decides that I am responsible for something, then I probably get, I mean, I probably get like five dozen. Speaking of flare ups and not talking about hemorrhoids, hold on, let, let me bring this up here. I didn't hear what happened with AOC and you'll, oh, have, to, you'll have to hear, yeah. give me some context, but yes. uh, we'll watch a short video and then we're gonna see what's going on. Cause this, it's, it's unbelievable. And, and the way to blame you for anything that bad that happens because you are amplifying what people want the world to hear in any event. Here we go. I think this is it. Okay, here. Let's see this here. I don't know what it is. I haven't I haven't watched this yet. Let's let's go ahead and give this a watch. Thank you. Um, I I am here outside the Cannon building. I was here last week because I attempted to ask AOC why she lied about me in a committee hearing. She cowered away, she refused to talk to me. So I'm back here today, one week later, and I'm going to deliver her an ethics complaint that I filed for lying about an American citizen in a committee hearing. So AOC, she broke the rules. Believe it or not, there's actually rules on Capitol Hill. And 23 clause one is a big one. You got to act in a way that reflects credibility on uh, the house. Hold on, uh, Chaya, do we know, did, did this guy identify himself? This is your lawyer, I presume, right? Yeah, so I filed this with the help of the Heritage Foundation Oversight Project. Um, so that's their lawyer. His name is Mike. Really great guy. Okay. And lying about, you know, a U.S. citizen certainly doesn't do that. I don't know what the lie was. Sex. What was the lie? Let's go inside and see if she's there. Do you... <laughs> uh, did you have permission to be there? We wouldn't want you getting charged with obstruction of Congress or parading and picketing in a, in a okay. Right, so basically a few weeks ago, AOC yeah. lied about me in a committee hearing. Okay. So I tried to come last week and talk to her, yeah. but she kind of cowered away, wasn't interested in talking to me. Okay. So uh, together with uh, Mike from the Heritage Foundation Oversight, um, he helped me file this ethics complaint. So we filed that. And if you can give it to AOC, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. And Thank tell you. her to stop lying about American citizens. Thank, okay. Thanks for the okay. advice, Chaya. <laughs> I just dropped off an ethics complaint at AOC's office, and unfortunately, she wasn't there. So we laughed, and then I was walking through the Capitol, and guess who I bumped into? AOC herself. I just delivered an ethics complaint to your office because you lied about me. Oh, my goodness. She didn't know who you were at first. No, she didn't know. She was standing oh, there, and I was she like, thought, she, she thought like, you were an adoring fan. Yeah. I was like, can oh. I take a picture of you? She's like, sure. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> uh, what was the lie? It, was it about having inspired a bomb threat? Yeah. So she said in a committee hearing a couple weeks ago that I inspired a bomb threat and I lied about Boston Children's Hospital. Um, so, you know, right away, obviously I called her out and then last week, um, I was in DC and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go confront AOC and ask her why she lied about me. Um, and I was like ready to sit there and talk to her and discuss this. Um, so I don't know if you saw part one last week, but, um, basically I went over and they were like, oh, she's not here. Um, she, you know, she can't talk right now. So I left her a note. She has these sticky notes on the wall. So I left her a note and I wrote, stop lying about American citizens. Um, and then this week I was back in DC. So we were working this week on filing an ethics complaint. Um, and then I went to deliver it to her. Again, she wasn't there or wasn't available. Um, so, you know, I thought it was over. And then we're leaving and we're walking through the Capitol and then we bumped into her. <laughs> so it was really, it was really perfect. I don't know if anything will happen with the ethics complaint, but I think it's really important to show these people that you're going to hold them accountable and you're not just going to let them do whatever they want and just go around lying and defaming people that they disagree with. Well, not, not to add a little more pessimism, pessimism to that, but, uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has two convictions of the under the Ethics Act, and he's still Prime Minister. Three ethics, com I, I don't know if he's had more complaints, two bona fide convictions for ethics violations wow. under the, I don't know if it's a federal conflict, whatever that Federal Ethics Act is. Uh, still Prime Minister, people still vote for him. Makes no difference. <laughs>